Hello everybody. If you are into project management and managing tasks based on the deadline set for them, then this is the chart for you, Can Chart. Notice in the simplistic Gantt chart, what I have is five tasks and each task have been assigned certain number of days in which it must be completed. So for example, task one, three days, once it finishes, then task two begins, two days, and it continues five, two and three. However, at times it may also happen that one of the tasks, let's say task number four, might be overlapping with task number three for one day. So how do you do that? Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. Now, if I were to back calculate this and uh, decipher what kind of chart has been used here, I can show you the trick. For example, if I choose this section, you know, closer to the line, Notice there seems to be something invisible standing before these horizontal bars, right? Now, if I just uh, make them a very light colored gray, you'll get to know that they are not hanging in midair, although appear like a staircase, but they're not hanging like that. They are supported by these light gray bars. So ultimately, it happens to be a stacked horizontal bar chart. So how do you make it is what I'll be showing you next. I am pressing Ctrl N, helps me open a new slide. I'm just clearing all the text boxes away. I'm going to go to insert, chart, and go for bar diagram, okay? Within bar, I'm going for the stacked bar, okay? Now, so what I'll do is, I will feed in the data first. Uh, let me say task one. Let me put in the digit, digit one. Once I drag this down, what I get is task one, two, three, four. I'm just going to paste on top of this one, task one, two, three, four. Later we'll see how can I make it in a reverse order. So as of now, what you need is just, just two columns. I'm deleting the third one by pressing control minus. So first is the dummy, which will be invisible. And the second is number of days. Right now, the first time, if I compare with the chart, say a previous slide, uh, I notice there's no dummy section here. It's just three days. So I put, let's say zero and then after three days. Okay. Next, the strength of the previous days is the invisible benchmark followed by the number of days required for task two. So the dummy, in this case will be three and the next task requires seven days, let's say. Now, the next dummy is the combined total of the previous two tasks duration. So three plus two is the combined duration. It's very similar to waterfall chart concept. So I will add the dummy 10 and let's say this is just for four days. Finally, uh, when I add up the strength of all the duration days, so three and seven and four, that comes out to be 14. That will be the dummy. And the last one just takes two days to complete. Now, when I close this, let me reverse the order of these tasks. I right click on the axis, I go to format axis. Once I do that, there will be one setting which will say categories in reverse order. So it's a simple way of just reversing the categories, in this case, task, task one, two, three, four. Now, if I choose the blue bar and make it go invisible, how? Shape fill and no fill. Now notice it has the same effect, task one, task two, task three, task four. If you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks, why don't you check out our entire library? Use the link in the description below. Now, if I right click and go to edit data, and if I reduce the dummy heading by let's say 13, what does it mean? It means for one day, the task three and task four is overlapping. Now I can choose one bar at a time, click on it twice and then change the color if you wish to. So those are more in the cases of beautifying those. In fact, if I click outside and choose the bar, the bubbles indicate all the horizontal bars have been chosen. And then you might right click on it and say, please add data labels. There you go. Choose the data label. 
if you wish you can make it go heightened in terms of the font size make it color white so that's how it looks three days seven days four days and the last task is overlapping for one day with the previous task so that is the basic form of can chart of course there are a lot of add-ins available on the internet which let you make this a much more faster and in a much more complex form but you should have the basic idea of how this is made